Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview. Book of Ezekiel, Chapter 38 Let's get started now. Ezekiel Chapter 38 is a prophetic vision that describes a future invasion of Israel by a coalition of nations led by a character known as Gog. The chapter begins with God commanding Ezekiel to prophesy against Gog saying that he will turn against him and put hooks in his jaws, dragging him and his army against Israel. Gog is described as the prince of Rosh, Meshech, and Tubal, which scholars believe refer to the regions of modern-day Russia. Along with Gog, there are several other nations mentioned as part of the coalition, including Persia, modern-day Iran, Kush, Ethiopia, and Put, Libya. The vision then describes the armies of Gog invading Israel, but God intervenes and destroys them with a great earthquake, pestilence, and bloodshed. The chapter ends with God promising to display His glory and holiness to the nations of the world, and the people of Israel recognizing His power and sovereignty. The meaning behind this prophetic vision is multifaceted. First, it speaks to the sovereignty of God over all nations. Despite the fact that Gog and his army may seem powerful and unbeatable, ultimately, God is the one who controls the outcome of the situation. Second, the vision highlights the importance of the nation of Israel and God's plan of redemption. Even though Israel had been scattered and oppressed throughout history, God promises to protect and defend his people. The fact that the invasion is specifically against Israel shows that the nation has a special place in God's heart and plan. Third, the vision is a warning to the nations of the world that God will not tolerate injustice and aggression against his people. The fact that Gog and his army are punished so severely shows that God takes seriously any attempt to harm or oppress his people. The teaching application of this chapter for us today is that we can trust in God's sovereignty over all nations and circumstances. We may face difficult situations where it seems like evil is winning, but ultimately, God is in control. We can take comfort in the fact that God promises to protect and defend his people, just as he did with Israel. Furthermore, this chapter reminds us that God does not tolerate injustice and oppression. We should be vigilant in standing up for what is right and opposing any attempt to harm or oppress others. We should also pray for the peace and safety of the nation of Israel and for God's protection over his people around the world. In conclusion, Ezekiel chapter 38 is a prophetic vision that speaks to God's sovereignty over all nations and his protection of his people. It warns against injustice and aggression and reminds us to trust in God's plan and purpose for our lives. As we face the challenges of today's world, we can take comfort in the fact that God is in control and will ultimately bring about justice and peace. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.